So, well, it's 7.30. I'm gonna get, si ex <laughs> gonna get started. I'm all excited that you're here tonight at my Monday mystery card. I do this every Monday night at 7.30 Central Standard Time in the United States. I'm in St. Paul, Minnesota. And I only say that because I think there was there's somebody here who's from like another country. And I want to say the Netherlands or Denmark, but I'm always wrong. So we can always count on me being wrong. But um, just wanted to say hi. Um, I'm going to just get started with the um, measurements and things that you need in case you don't have them and want to run and get them. So we have our base card at five and a half by nine, which is very sad to me because it's not eight and a half inches and you can't. You have to use a whole sheet of cardstock instead of getting two out of one. My friend Jan has told me, that's okay, Colleen. It's not a big deal. You can save those pieces and use them for accent pieces. And I was like, okay. So on this piece of base card, you need to, and I've scored mine already, but you're gonna score it at one and a half, two and three quarters, and then you're gonna space it up and you're, you could either turn it and do one and a half and two and three quarters again, or you could do one and a half, two and three quarters, then go down to six and a half, and then seven and three quarters. And you're going to get a piece that looks like this, but we're not gonna use it like that. We instead are going to do valley fold, mountain fold, and the same thing again. Or oh, the opposite, I guess, mountain fold, valley fold. So this is one of those, in quotes, fun fold cards. Say hi if you're here. Um, anyway, which is pretty cool. So it'll look like this. You're also going to need DSP, which is designer series paper or pretty paper or scrapbook paper, whatever you'd like to call it. And you're gonna need two pieces that are one and a half by five and a quarter. So you need two, one and a half by five and a quarter. Then you're gonna need one piece of scrapbook paper and that's gonna be three and a half by five and a quarter. And I ran out of the, this color, so we're using this color instead, but it still goes, so I'm happy. Then you're gonna need another piece of just white paper, white, it could either be typing paper, which is probably the wrong printer paper, or it could be um, white, whisper white, or basic white. And this is gonna be at three and a half by five and a quarter. Okay, and that's gonna be for the back piece. The other thing you're gonna need is some kind of a floral focal. That says a focal with the sentiment and a decoration. I've chosen a daisy because there's no daisies on this book. Oh, well, chosen a daisy. And then I have this piece here and we'll get to these. And I have um, the white piece that I will stamp on. And then this, I'm gonna show you a cool trick so that it shows you some layering. So now I'm going to put a dark piece of paper over here. Oh, I should I should do this too. So I, let me do this. So if you're here, do I keep refreshing? I wonder if that's what I'm supposed to do. Let's do this. Refresh, refresh. Huh. How do I even do that? Well, I got the comments on there. I should be happy about that, huh? huh. Let's see, I'll do the refresh thing. Nope. Uh. Nope. I don't know how to refresh. Oh well, anyway. So I'm gonna put this here just so I can read comments if they come through and if I can even see them, so. Okay, going back to here. There we go. Okay, swipe to the left, left to reveal comments. And there we go. Okay, so we are gonna get, I wanted to be shameless and show you my cards for my Christmas card class that's coming up in a, two weeks, you need to know, let me know by, I think next Monday, what cards you might like. You're gonna see that at 
uh, www.thecraftybasementnospaces.com. It's uh, my blog. And here's the first card. Looks like this, and when you open it, it's one of these fun fold things too, OMG. <laughs> I just love that. So here's one of the cards you'll be doing or choosing from. The other one is a snowflake card. And I should show you the inside. Oh, look, I put a snowflake on that one to always put sentiments on the inside or anything. So you'll do that one, or that is a choice. And then the other one is totally not me, but it's totally cute. It has these cute penguins, which seem to be the thing these days. It's got um, the little guy sliding down here. And then on the inside, we have another little guy, again, inside. So go to thecraftybasement.com and sign up for class if you would like to come. You would be making, you're going to choose two cards, and then from those two cards, you're going to make five each of those. So that's a total of 10 cards, and I'm charging um, $25. So anyway, so now that was shameless. I say I'm never going to sell. But it never said I wasn't going to advertise. LOL, my favorite statement. So, okay, let's get started here. Read your comments. Read my comments. But by accident, but I'm enjoying your voice. I love that fancy photo. Oh, and Brian's on here. And Anne Marquez, you're, where are you from? Oh, and my son Brian put on here. This is more info on the classes are found here. And he put up the website address. He's such a sweetheart. Anyway, that's my son, my biggest fan. I don't know, that might be between my mom and my son. Okay. Oh, you're in Canada. Hi. Oh, my God. There's a Canadian demonstrator. I have to plug her. Sun Stamping, S-U-N-N -N, Stamping. And I absolutely love her. Suzanne Netz, N-E-T-Z. Anyway, oh great, I didn't cut this right. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is make sure that your paper is cut right. And I said that this was at three and a half. And of course, do you think that I have it right? No. So I'll just chunk off a piece of that. Okay, OMG, here we go. So we're gonna take our designer series paper and our um, card base that we've cut already. We're gonna put some glue on the back. My favorite glue again is always this Tombow Green. And you say, Colleen, why is that your favorite glue? And I will tell you every time. My favorite glue is the Multi Green because it's liquid and it gives you a little bit of give. So we're putting our um, adhesive on the back. We're gonna flip this over, make sure your flower stems are going back down. I guess I'm not saying that for everybody because you probably all don't have the same designer series paper and if you did, wouldn't that be a hoot? But I know that um, Betty and Kitty have that. So make sure that your stems are facing down. Okay, so we have that in the middle panel. Then I'm gonna take, my panel looks different, but it still matches because it's that Calypso Coral I don't like the feathers on this side. So the bird houses, I will tell you about the, we don't have a bird house, but we have two bird feeders. We also have four cats. And one cat is named Lucky. And his favorite thing to do is to hide underneath the sitting bench we have out there. Oh, by the way, I'm taking this panel, I put glue on the back, and I'm putting it on the left-hand side, the little square panel that folds like this. And then I'll be putting glue on the back of um, this panel and I'll be putting, or this piece of designer series paper, I'm gonna put it here. Well, anyway, going back to Lucky, he sits under that bench and he watches the birds in the bird feeder with his tail twitching. It's just a hoot. Now, we have another little cat, his sister. It's um, Betty's cats, um, Lucky and Haley. Haley sits there and watches uh, Lucky watch the birds, which is really kind of comical. <laughs> well, so far we're halfway done with our card. This is like an easy card, but it is so cute. So now we have this. 
I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. We have our white piece of paper. You're saying, oh, here's a card, but how do you open it? Well, you don't. You're gonna turn this over and um, I'm gonna put some of my trusty Tombow green glue, but it's not green, it's white. <laughs> but it comes out, it doesn't come out green, it comes out white, but it's in the green bottle, hence the name Tombow green glue. Okay, and I'm gonna put, did I show, tell you what I was doing? So I have my card here, I turned it over, and I'm going to attach this white piece on the back. And that's where you will put your sentiment if you so desire to put um, a sentiment on here. So, so far we have this. And I think what I'm gonna do, see if I have this. Um, my sentiment is gonna read, I'm um, thinking of you. And these happy thoughts, I'm really sorry this is retired, but this is a time you get to use your retired products because that's what these Monday nights are for, is for you to um, use up stuff that you have already in your stash. And Helene didn't bring a block. So if you're ever without a block, you can use anything that's flat. In this case, I'm using, this is kind of like snail adhesive. Do I even have my black ink? Well, what you don't know is I'm not gonna do this, but on the back here is I'm going to take this and it says, just wanted to send some happy thoughts. And um, I used to make a lot of birthday cards, but you know, I never end up mailing those stupid birthday cards. So I'm making more thinking of you cards because then I don't have to wait until someone's birthday to tell them I'm thinking of them. So I would ink it up. Of course, it would be on a block and then I would, um, put it on the back of here. You could write, dear so-and-so, love, yada, yada, of course. Now, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna decorate the front, which is like so easy. Um, I have chosen the Daisy Punch. There's two different sizes of Daisy Punches. There's this size, and, then, and that's two um, of the daisies cut. And this one here is a smaller one. So you have two different sizes. I have chosen um, the larger one, but let me come back to the sentiment too. I didn't bring my black. And you know what? Give me two seconds because I'm gonna need it for this next part. And when you can't find your black ink, your fallback is purple. And in this case, it's gorgeous grape. Goofy me. So this is one that opens like a lipstick case, they say. Um, one little tip I can give you about these new ink pads. Another tip is you, um, you have these and then you should take a bone folder or something. And in this case, I'm looking for an ant or something. And you're going to kind of squish down the ink because I have found if you don't do this then the ink on your um, stamp comes out bubbly and then it doesn't give you a very good impression and that's just that's just wrong so here I have my thinking of you and I'm going to tap 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 lightly I'm not going to squish squish or squish wash thinking of you, and I'm gonna put it mine towards the bottom of the sentiment, because I wanna kinda have this hanging out over it. But sometimes they have nesting dies where you have a, a die, and then you can cut out the next bigger one, and then you would get a, an outline of that. For example, here I have, okay, here I have the star and you see how you have the little star here and then it's got the outline here. It's kind of like doing that, but there's no bigger punch for this retired punch. Remember, this is a time for you to use your retired product. And you could take your sentiment and then you could like have it here and have half or on the bottom and have half. Um, 
And you asked me a question. I'm in St. Paul, Minnesota, so kind of just below you. Huh? But anyway, you're gonna take this and you're gonna cut it in half. And then you're gonna take your trusty glue. You're gonna put some glue on the top here and on the bottom. Oops, you know, I really sh shouldn't use this white paper. I wonder if that's why people don't always use this. Anyway, I'm gonna put glue on the top and the bottom. And then remember how I like it because it has wiggle room. I'm gonna place half of this on top. And then I'm gonna put the other half on the bottom. Oops, sometimes it moves too easily. St. Paul, Minnesota, where the weather today has been beautiful. It's getting a little hot though. So here we have this, now we have it outlined. And on the back, it looks like that. <laughs> I'm so excited that you're excited. Are you excited? I don't even know. Oh, I have six people here. Betty is here, and who else is here? If you can say hi, that'd be great. I have Nana, who, in other words, Betty, and I have Kitty, in other words, Mom. And we have Anne and Brian, so that's four. And I have two other people, I don't know. Oh, I guess one would be me on my husband's. Huh? <laughs> so a silly goose. I guess I'm on my husband's Facebook page, so that counts. Okay, so here I put dimensionals on the back. I'm going to put this towards the side here because I'm going to then take this. I put a dimensional on the back here, peel that off. Hmm. I think I tried tucking it once, but I'm just going to put it here, thinking of you. And then if I had, um, oh, here they are. For the middle, I have these cute little um, loose flowers. And I think, I don't know if they're in this year, this week's, whatever, this new catalog, or if it's something that is not in the new catalog. And these go on with glue dots, which of course is with my black ink. Everybody should have black ink. <laughs> Everybody should have a fallback. I'm just going to use my Tombow Green Glue. I don't like using that on the um, these loose things because it takes so long to dry. How are we doing upstairs? This is uh, one of my viewers and my followers' favorite time of day when I say, Hi, Mom and Nana. How are you guys doing upstairs? Give a stamp on the floor so I know you are caught up to what I'm doing. And then I wait for the delay. Oh, they're ready to go. I don't know if you heard that. So here I put a flower in the middle of the daisy and I am thinking of you. And um, basically that's the card for tonight. Comments. Comments, what are my comments? Betty is watching it. Hey, Ari, hi Ari. Ari's from Chicago and she is the girlfriend of my son, Brian. I think you heard me mention Brian. And Ari is a sweet girl that I love to death. So Ari is here. She is number six, and she's with Brian. I wonder why they're on different devices. <laughs> oh, well. So here's the card we made tonight. And on the back, oh, I can put that sentiment back there now. And I can show you how well, if you don't have a block, because if you're out traveling and you have nothing to use, make sure the words are upside down, right side up. I'm gonna open up my purple pad. I'm gonna do this. Tap, tap, tap. Check to make sure that it's gonna work. Yep. And again, here we go. Just wanted to put some special thoughts. Whoops, it's crooked. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to myself. Just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way. And I would fix this. I have a purple marker the, um, and I would just fix it that way because if I try to stamp it again it would be a disaster so um, I wanted to show you whoops so this is the one I made today this one I made as my when I practiced to make sure I can do it it has happy birthday on it, it has purple there I put some sparkles here but they are in the wrong places because they're under here but anyway and then the other one that I thought was pretty cool and I know I have it 
is this one here. This paper, when it came out last year, if you remember, we're using old product. I loved this paper. It, it was really crazy. And what I did was I cut it out. And then um, for my sentiment, I just used a piece of square, because it's a rectangle. And then I um, layered it on red, because when I did the white, it just kind of didn't do anything for me. This is just partial. Like I use this paper and I cut things out and then it had the yellow here and it's like, oh, I would love to have more yellow to bring out the yellow. So this is just pieces that I put here, but you'd never know it unless I told you. But I love this card. This is, um, I don't know, pretty cool. And on the back, I didn't put anything, but I should have. But that's our card for tonight. And I am so happy that you guys are here. It didn't even take took 20 minutes at the most. Um, again, if you want to sign up for my Christmas card class, just give me a holler. Here are the ones you get to choose from. This one is a, oh my God, a cute fancy fold. And it sits up. Here I've got my fun one like this. And then the cute little penguin. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful evening, and I will see you next week at 7.30. Hope to see you soon. And thanks for joining me. Finish.